Greetings. It is a midweek update here from I and I Boats, and today we're talking something exciting. <laughs> Fillers for epoxy for marine epoxy. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to report real quick because it was on my mind. Um, I ran out of the colloidal colloidal silica that I bought from Duckworks. Uh, last weekend well two weekends ago and so this past weekend I had to run out and buy the 406 colloidal silica from West Marine um, and let me tell you something this is 5.5 ounces for I think it's almost $30 right the stuff from Duckworks is 8 ounces for $15 so we get almost twice as much for you know the same price um, relatively so um, but that's one thing I wanted to mention the other thing is I have a ratio for you so since I bought this last weekend I've done nine frames I've attached nine frames and I've built four frames so building the frames it's basically six pumps of epoxy uh, six meter pumps of epoxy per frame and doing the uh, t attaching the frames is basically two pumps of epoxy per frame so I've used about 44 meter pumps of the stuff and I'm almost about halfway through so I'm estimating and this is real geeky stuff here so I'm estimating that I'll use approximately 50 meter pumps um, for um, you know half of this thing so about a hundred meter pumps for the whole thing now let me show you what I'm using to keep track of what I dispense with my thickener I use a little medicine cup and I've gotten this ratio worked out pretty well basically it's one medicine cup per pump which gives me a really really good uh, should I have my dust mask on which gives me a really good uh, consistency sort of like mayonnaise I mean that stuff I put it on my knife and you know shake it it won't come off it's really good and um, so that's what's been going on in terms of my use and so uh, the weather has been a little cold so I went out and I bought the 205 hardener the 205 hardener is a fast hardener if you can see that right there it's the fast hardener and um, that's supposed to be what you can use um, to temperatures down to 40 degrees so I've been using that it hasn't gotten down to 40 degrees when I've been working today I started working and it was probably around 70 but I got finished one frame I moved to the second one and the temperatures had dropped down to about 62 degrees so I said well I switched from my regular hardener uh, to this two which I think is 206 I think the 206 is what I use a slow hardener um, to this fast stuff because it's about 60 degrees now I'm just finishing up about a half hour ago so the temperatures are going to continue to fall I think the low temperature nights in the upper 40s um, but just to be safe I use the fast hardener so this stuff it's it actually smells like the epoxy is kicked off already um, so you know that smell those of you who've worked with epoxy and if you haven't worked with epoxy you're probably not listening or watching me so <laughs> that's it with my midweek update I hope to have at least eight frames ready to put up on Saturday barring anything crazy going on with with uh, you know the stuff I'm working on but it's going pretty good moving along well and uh, that's frame 22 so that's it for the midweek update until this weekend, peace and blessings. I should put a nerdy warning sign up here before <laughs> before I start talking. Anyway, later.